Hi, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme three, element one, tectonics. Welcome, I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. Tectonics is the study of the processes affecting the structure of our planet. The earth is made up of several layers and how these layers interact creates different hazards and landforms. First up, what are the layers? There are four layers as are shown in the diagram on the screen. We're going to start from the very centre of our planet. And this is the inner core. The inner core is the hottest of our layers. And it's so hot because of the pressure of all those additional layers on top of it, pushing down on it. It makes it incredibly dense, solid and very, very hot, over 1,500 degrees Celsius. It's made up of a nickel iron core and it's the energy source of all the processes that occur in tectonics. Moving out from that, we have the outer core. It's made up of the same thing. It's nickel iron, but it's not solid. This is a liquid metal and it spins and flows around the uh, inner core. This is the second thickest layer. It's around 2000 kilometers thick. Joining onto that is the mantle. This is our thickest layer. This is over 3,000 kilometers thick. It's made up of molten rock. So that is rock that's so hot it's turned to liquid. And we call this magma. And it's our thickest layer and it also provides a key process that we're gonna come on to on the next slide. And then finally, we have the crust, which is this thin blue layer represented on our diagram. It's the smallest of all of our layers, but it's also the most important for us because it's where we live. On the, the crust can be very thin from around five kilometers, usually under the ocean, to at its thickest, up to 70 kilometers. And it, although it looks like on that diagram that it's made up of all one sheet, the crust is fractured and splintered into lots of little different bits, which we call plates, of which you can see on this diagram. So here's our crust, this brown bit, and then we've got our mantle below it, which is the orange, and that's got the magma in it. And you can see that there's a gap, there's a gap, and all the way around our planet, the crust is split up into these little chunks that we call plates. These plates don't stand still, they do move. And they move through a process called convection current, which brings us back to the mantle. So at the base of the mantle, we have this interface with the core, which is the hottest part of our crust, uh, hottest part of our planet. Any liquid that is heated up becomes less dense and begins to rise. So at the interface between the mantle and the outer core, this rock is at its hottest and it begins to rise up towards the crust, which is where we get to here. When it reaches the crust, it has two options. It can move on this diagram to the left or to the right. In, re in reality, it's not quite as simple as that, but we'll roll with the diagram that we've got. So the Magma will split, some of it will go to the left and some of it will go to the right. As it moves across underneath the plate, it begins to cool because it's at the furthest it can possibly can be away from the center of the planet. And then it will descend down because it starts to cool. Cool liquids become more dense and sink back towards the center of the planet where it'll warm up and it'll come back up again. So that convection current happens in this direction clockwise, this one is happening anti-clockwise. As it does, because this molten uh, rock is not a really, really runny liquid, it is actually quite thick. So as it's moving near the base of the plate, it's actually gonna pull this plate with it. Now it doesn't move very quickly, it moves at the same speed that your fingernails grow, so it's around three to five millimeters per year. So this plate, the South American plate, is moving to the left, and the African plate is moving to the right. There are cycles running right the way around our planet. And where you can see here, we've got this uh, magma that's cooling and sinking. It's also happening in the same place on the opposite plate. So what this does is it brings two plates together. So you've got the NASCAR plate and the South American plate coming together. And then 
these two plates here, because these two arrows are moving away from each other, these two plates are moving in opposite directions. And this is going to become important next lesson. Now, we mentioned that there were different types of crust. You can see here that we've got some really thick parts at around 70 kilometers thick where we've got the mountains. And then underneath the sea, we've got some really thin parts. So let's have a look. These are called oceanic and continental crust, and they have their own characteristics. So if we start with the oceanic crust, which is this bit here, and this bit on our second diagram. Well, this is the newest crust. This can be both created and destroyed. When a plate collides with another plate, as it does here, it's always going to be the oceanic plate that sinks. And when it sinks, this is called subduction, it melts when it ends up inside the mantle because it's so hot. So this plate here is going to melt and be destroyed. In contrast, the continental crust is the, the bits that we're standing on. They are older. They were formed around the time that the continents were created. So that's over 1,500 million years old. But because they don't have the weight of the ocean on top of them, and they don't have new bits of sediment, like sea creatures and sand and silt, all building up and being pushed down by the ocean and compacting it onto the plate, they're not very dense. So that means that they're lighter. And between the two plates, if they had a, uh, when they collide, it's always going to be the denser, heavier plate that sinks. So it's always going to be the oceanic plate. The continental plate is lighter. Even though it's thicker, it's still lighter, and so will always ride above it. So this one never gets destroyed. There's no new land being created. Well, that's it for today. We'll continue our revision by completing the now try task for homework. Class dismissed.